Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh my god, another video. You guys are just the luckiest people in the world, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Today's video is called, They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. It's going up on itch. Pretty near the top right now. So I'm like, you know, I might as well play it. I think there's like a full version on Steam. And uh, this is like the demo. So like, there's two options here, demo and prologue. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, we're going to see how fun it is. So let's get, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, we're just going to go ahead and click on the demo. That's a loud boy. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Gray's, uh, Gray's Wood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky, then moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, the, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all of the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an, an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Gray's Wood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. You know, I don't watch that many horror movies. In fact, I've never even watched a horror movie with an alien in it. But that sounds like a good way to die. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sounds like a nice way to fucking kick the bucket. Okay. Woo, boy, boy, boy. Talk to the farmer. Peter Sherman. Guys, I can't just be me. This is a weird-ass fan. Am I right? Am I tripping? Or is that a weird-ass fan? That's a weird fan. You got a weird van, ma'am. Okay, let's let's go. Honestly, freaking love it so far. It's the lights. Oh, take a picture. This is great material for my news report. Oh yeah. Dope. Sherman's house. Nice, nice. So far, I'm digging it. So far, I like it. Bro, I can't run for shit. Also, I thought Taylor... Maybe Taylor's a guy. Taylor sounds like a guy. That is, that's man panting right there. Just saying. Hum. Inspect the house. What does this say? Farmer's note. Mr. Fox. So Taylor Fox is a man. Got it. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll, ha we'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. Fuck! Oh, you're fucked now, aren't you? Inspect the house. Ooh! Hey, the telephone. What, else, what am I supposed to be inspecting here, bruv? Loud-ass fridge. That's a weird staircase, dog. There's supposed to be a wall right there. What's going on? Hello? Anything interesting a bit? That's a weird cap. Other than that, I don't know. I don't know what else. Hey, photo. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Huh. A dog and a human. Nice. Is that the baby boy? Oh, there we go. Beer. Two beers. Don't mind if I. Yes. Three beers. I don't fucking know. Okay. Hey there. Farmer's note. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, dispro disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with a bright light in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start having memory lapses. 
when they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places, for example, in the middle of a field or a road or a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palpitation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moved under their skin. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. These alien baddies are not messing around. Dude, they, they, they'd wreck my shit. Shove stuff up my ass. Damn, I'm not about that, no. Okay, what's this? Farmer's Children's Diary. Sticker found by old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier of the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and it seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was weld, weld, welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening, barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ear. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Me? I would be too, but also, this child speaks. I mean, he at least writes, like, really really intelligently like as a 15 year old I never wrote that intelligently whoa he got pictures too both from the internet perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar it looks very creepy oh that's weird oh there's oh oh gross oh that's just a cat y'all you know that's you, you know that's just a cat yeah that's just a cat look being creepy as shit that's my brother um my sister. Actually, these are just pictures of my siblings. Damn. I mean, I know they're hideous, but they're not aliens, guys. Come on. Shoot. Okay, anything else? Ooh, walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkie. Apparently, it belongs to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Sounds like a cat purring to me. I don't know why the fuck I just put on that accent. I don't know. Farmer's Note. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Oh, shit. My daughter's been abducted by aliens. Better not leave with that. Ah! 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 Run! Run! Fucking run! Hey! Hey! Let me out, bro! Let me out! Shit's locked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. After you flashlight, bruh, bruh's not joking around. Dang. Ooh, it, it, didn't, it feels like nothing changed. Okay, okay, creepy shit's happening. Ah, oh no, I don't like it. Oh, it's something got. Oh, it's something got scary. Oh my god, it's something got scary. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's something got scary. Oh, I hated the footsteps. Oh my god, I hated that. No! What the fuck? Fuck that! Dude, it suddenly got scary. Photo of dead animals. Probably these animals from Grey Woods Farm. Oh my god. Why are you on? Oh, great. We're just gonna watch a movie in the middle of all this. Alright, I'm down. I'm down for it. Sick old car. Great cinematography, y'all. Great cinematography. Dude, I love 80s movies. What happened to my flashlight? Oh, oh what is that? 
Bro, what is that? Is that a human? Fuck no, that's that's bad cinematography. I don't I don't care about it anymore. Stop it. Stop. Bro, I'm actually I'm not that interested in living, obviously, because I'm still around here. Farmers know. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh! He fucking dug it out? What are, what the fuck? Bro's crazy. I mean, I guess he found... I guess he found something, so that's proof. Fuck it, you know? Fuck you. Fuck your dreams, fuck your nightmares. I'm getting out. Ah! <gasps> something just fucking moved outside the fucking door. Come here, bitch. I'm gonna whack. I'm gonna shove my light. Oh my god, why are you here? I'm gonna shove my light up your ass. Uh, focus. Oh shit. That's not supposed to do that. Shut the fuck up, Van. Stop being dramatic. We'll do it again. Okay. Big old bedroom, eh? Big old bet. Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to do. Ooh, my vision. Last time I checked, my van doesn't do that. Ah! Hi! Ah. Oh, now I'm supposed to run? Ah. No, I'm not about that, bruh. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh, are those... Did somebody... Somebody died, yo. Yo, this is probably Farmer Sherman right here. Farmer Sherman fucking... Died. He... He... But I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm good, homie. I I I don't I don't wanna. They fucking killed my car. Not my car, bro. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Ah ha ha! Why me? Take, take the van, not me. You know, I didn't. I really didn't think you could get more sinister. I was obviously wrong. I knew I should have replaced my. <gasps> <gasps> huh? The fuck? In the full game, you will find the large territory of Gray's, Gray's Wood Farm and a full story on the alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss the discount release. Haha! <laughs> Fuck you. What's the prologue? Is that just the driving? Oh! Oh! The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years before the event shown in the demo version. The main character is a private Mitchell Anderson who serves in, at a military base near Gray's Wood Farm. By chance, he's become a witness of terrible, like, unexplainable events. Neat! Is that it? Air Force Base, August 6 MN. Ah. This is Alpha. We've an unidentified object at 270 degrees, 20 miles moving fast. Uh huh. Do you copy? No. Uh, I mean, good copy. Alpha. Is that a meteor? No. Nope. Negative. I'll try to get in touch. No, Do you sir. Want to controlled airspace? Shoot him down, shoot him down, shoot him down. The fuck is that? Shit. Right there. Fuck is that? No answer. Switching to heat control. What is heat control? Delta, I have strong interference. Say again. Communication lost. I try radio on different frequency. 
I think Delta's dead. Alpha calls data. Unidentified object begins pushing. Ten seconds to land. Saying again. Ten seconds to land. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Delta's dead. Huh? You are. Michael Anderson is two miles from the landing site. Oh, I don't know. Send in Mr. Anderson. Oh my god. That's pretty fucking crazy, bro. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Oh shit, you get to play more? Cool. Oh, oh. I, I didn't know that was. Oh. Oh, oh, so cool. Oh, what the fuck? This is base. The object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Uh. We'll make a team will arrive in one minute. Y'all. My cardio is ass. Okay, I'm heading towards the object. I read you five by five, sir. Out. Closing fast, boys. We're gonna get this alien. Sir? The fuck? There you are. Hey! It's over this way. Can't run Don't for shit, though. We we are I'm gonna die, yo. You better monitor me close, bitch. You know, why am I even doing this? Just monitor from up there. I don't even need to be down here. Just, you know... Do your shit from up there. I, why am I on the ground? Another question, why did I get out of my car? If, it, if this thing was so fucking far away, I might as well have kept driving. Ah, oh. Me no likey. Mm. Why am I so bad at walking or even lightly jogging that I'm like, <clears throat> I'm dying. Oh, I need to walk. Oh, Mager, this is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. Counter indicator is average. Cool. Roger that. We're all quiet here. Y'all, uh, I don't know what this thing is that I'm looking at, but my cardio's ass, and I can't really keep up with it. Sir, yes, sir. The object is being detected and it's a body position. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Very helpful. Very help. Thank you for your very good communication skills. Can you repeat? Dude, my Geiger counter sounds like it's going off. I should probably take that out of my ass and actually look at it. Geiger, what the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels are rising. Over. And we've lost. Oh god. Listen, if Geiger counters start to go off like that, I don't think I should be out here. Just saying. Okay? This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Observe the object from a distance. Well, I can't even catch up to it because my cardio is so bad. Bro, if you're in any type of military or anything like an active career or like... I don't fucking know. Just do your cardio, dog. Wait. What the fuck? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. No! No! Where the fuck is it? Omega, fly away. Michael Anderson, follow protocol. What the? F oh, Omega's dead. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, I'll tell you what the hell is going on. We're going back. Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh, there's two objects! 
Can anyone hear me? Fuck Over. this shit. I'm out. You know what? I got balls of fucking answer? titanium. Let's let's do it. Let's do it, Mikey boy. Let's go. Let's fuck up some air. And to switch to night vision. Yes, sir. Oh, what the fuck is that over there? Hello? Ghosty Goose? Anybody around? Mm. I don't like the sound of this. You know, I guarantee that they hear me panting. Ooh, it's a spaceship thingy in a bobber. Let me just head down real quick. I'll come visit. I already had the Geiger counter in my ass. You guys can probe me all you want. Don't worry about it. I'm friendly like that. Jesus, you got some bump and bass up in there, don't you? Dude, sounds like they're having a fucking great party. Hey. What is this? Hi. I'm Michael. Ah, uh, why'd you need to zoom in for that? <laughs> ah. Um. Hell yeah. Keep it bumping, my bruv. I feel like my... I feel like my night vision isn't working anymore. Uh. Um. Uh. Uh. Um. There's a lot of these guys. But my night vision ceased to work, so I. I oh, I can move now. I didn't. I didn't realize that. I see, I'm, I'm kind of dumb sometimes. <laughs> Hello. They are here. Oh. Alien abduction horror. That was pretty lit, bro. And there you have it. That was They Are Here. Alien abduction horror. How'd you like it? Did you like it? I kind of liked it. I, I, I thought it was, looked fucking fantastic. Might actually have to go get the full game on Steam. I might have to. It, it, this looks, this looks, this looks for real. This looks awesome. Kind of, kind of lit. Might have to do it. Anyway, let me guys let, let me know you guys if you want me to play the full version whenever it comes out. Because I will, if people want me to. If not, I'll just continue playing itch games. Because, like, itch games are normally lit. And they're fast and they're quick and they're awesome. This is a bit longer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't boring. Um, uh, if it was boring, you're probably still not here. So if you are here, thank you. Uh, have a good day. Subscribe. Like. All the good stuff. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. See you. Spooky aliens.